But then we have the Osh, where the failings in her construction are pretty much obvious at first sight. It doesn't take a warship historian to point out exactly what was wrong with the Osh. She was top heavy as all get out due to her very large superstructure and her low freeboard. In fact, her superstructure was so enormous, even for the time, that it earned her the nickname of the Grand Hotel. And this decision was made due to the fact that the French desperately wanted their warships to appear foreboding and menacing. Her masts were positively massive, and her guns were mounted on almost every available surface. But this, however, led to some seriously unstable ships, which had difficulty at times keeping afloat under their own weight. But even further, the decision to extend the superstructure above the turrets was also controversial, because damage to this part of the superstructure could also damage or then block the gun turrets, thereby reducing firepower. Though the Osh would still go on to be remembered, as one of the worst warships ever to be put to sea.